So I, I will try to I will try to begin, and I because I'm the last one today, I will change a little the order and the way I will present you what I wanted to present. Uh, my my slides are deposed on, on the site, so you can find everything which is on the slide on, on, on the website. Uh, there are 21 um, slides in this presentation, and the most important are at the end are the three <laughs> last one. So, why should I need uh, to present you 18 slides before? Let me begin with this one. This one is very important because I think it's a very important question. What can we do what the others do not? Uh, it's the one way, I should say the only way, to, to win on reputation and to get out of our is isolation. So, let's suppose if we put the question what pirate parties can do, what other parties cannot do, it's suppose that we are attentive of what other parties are doing. So, I'm, I'm not sure that we are doing that efficiently. So, there is no observer of the other parties, there is no nothing done to centralize information, to copy or to react at their communication policies and so on. <coughs> I, will, I will start with, with I try to, to construct a little metaphor about the letters T. We are in a conference, we participate at a conference which, which entitles Think Twice. So there are two T's. So, I take from my examples and my books another, uh, some, some other words, the three T, that tolerance <coughs> uh, and transparency from, from Richard Florida. And I think what we need about another word with T that is trust. So uh, what we have to construct together is to trust each other between parties and to construct something in, in common. So I, I start my presentation. I will go very quickly in the first in the first parts. I will show you three books. I decided to to have a start point from three books. One uh, which is coming from the management. So uh, Peter Sanj is a big American who earns very well his, his life uh, from the last decades. He wrote his book in the 90s first and it was republished uh, in 2010. And the important idea of, of, of this book, which I, I advise you to, to read, it's easy to read, it's, it's an American style, so it's easy to read, it's not easy to learn or to synthesize, but it's easy to read that he explained what is an intelligent organization, why big companies are developing and dying, why, why uh, uh, automotive industry is, is dead, why uh, some big companies like, like Google and others are develop, developing their models and so on. And the five ideas, most, most, the most important ideas, why he, he entitles his books The Fifth Discipline are on this slide. Uh, these five are, I begin with the, with the lower one, is personal mastery. So the first thing to do if we want to be an intelligent society then to look at ourselves as a person, what we have to do as a person to participate to an intelligent organization. Uh, the second one, is team learning, how to learn together in an organization and share what we, we learn. How to challenge our mental models, because we are all trapped inside some models which uh, makes 
for us very difficult to get out of this model and to think new solutions to, to our problem and to have a, an attitude to build a shared vision together. So we have in pirate parties these qualities, I think. We are, we are together to, to, to learn together. We are challenging our normal mental models. You have seen of all this presentation at the border of the, of the normal models. Uh, we are building together uh, a vision. I do not know, I do, I can't afford myself to, to, to say something about our personal mastery, I can speak only for myself, but I, I want to incite you to, to induce in you the, the, the will to, to explore uh, your personal qualities to do these political things. And what Peter Sand says that the most important of all these five is the system thinking. So that would say that you must analyze things together in these global uh, interactions. I will pass, pass the next, next slides which describes his book uh, very, very quickly. Not too quickly, I will show you what are on, but uh, I will, these slides are explaining more largely these five ideas. That's the system thinking. So I, I try to, to translate them into, into simple, maybe two simple words, huh? to, to try to imagine what, what should it be at, a, at a, a personal level. What is team learning? Me, we, together in a team. I insist to, uh, uh, on, on the expression to suspend assumptions. Hmm? We are always uh, within mental models with, with generally two possibilities, as in, as in digital world, zero and one, true, false, real, virtual, now, then. So we have to to get out of this simple explication because things are more, more difficult generally. Uh, building a shared vision is, is more simple to understand. Personal mastery is first of all develop, developing patience, I think and willingness to, to learn and to discipline. What pirate parties need today is beyond organization. You have seen this morning about around the presentation of Guillaume that that and you experience that in your 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 everyday pirate life and life that it cannot work if there is not a minimum discipline. But because everybody <coughs> who participates in this pirate movement is is freely participating. There is no obligation. It's very difficult to impose some discipline, but it would give some, some more efficiency to, to our movement. So, what I want to point out about his book, these learning disabilities. So, we have different uh, obstacles to, to uh, difficulties to, to repair in order to, to, be, to, be, to put in practice the, his, his five uh, advices. And I will quickly explain you what is, although they are very intuitive, and it's American who is writing the book, so everything is very intuitive. I am my position, so, so that, one, that wants to say that Nobody can replace me. I identify myself with what I'm doing, so it's very important and I'm not concerned on what is outside. Uh, everything around outside, out of me, the enemy is out there. The proactive attitude that managers do that we have to prevent problems, so to have to spend a lot of energy to prevent problems will never occur. The fixation of little events and not in, uh, 
do not permit us to see the, the whole reality. The parable of the boiling frog, you put in a frog in cold water and to, to heat it slowly, so, slowly, so uh, the frog is, is still inside and, and she, he, he dies. If you put it directly on, uh, in, in warm water, uh, he will drop off. So there are uh, slow uh, information, or slow uh, signals from outside world which are difficult to, to see and to react. Huh? You see a lot of industry electronics, you see what happened to the, to the mechanics industry, to the automotive industry. Uh, he uses an example from Toyota, which has 1% uh, uh, sales of, of cars in the United States one year, then three, then seven, then nine, and when Toyota arrives at, at 35, the American industry, the car industry was dead, still dead. But they can do nothing, it was too late. And the most interesting is the myth of the management team. So we elect a good manager, we have a good team, and they will find solutions to, to our problems. This part I will pass very quickly because it's, it sounds like Murphy's Law. Uh, we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, foresee every consequence of, uh, consequences of our, what we are doing today and so on. Hmm? So I will go to another book which I've chosen to sustain my, my, my questioning. Howard Reigond is a, a specialist in, in, in digital world and he is promoting digital literacy. So we are a digital generation. You are. I am not so a digital generation. But pirate movements and pirate parties are very uh, digital literate people and they don't have to isolate themselves from the part of the world who are not. Uh, Howard Reynolds uh, wrote this book and started a university that goes in Reynolds University and he tries to, to fill the gap between the digital literate people and the non-literate people and he invented uh, uh, he doesn't he, doesn't invent digital literacy, but he invented pedagogy. And I chosen this because I think pirate parties can do pedagogy peer-to-peer. -peer. So our, our, our uh, reputation will grow if we can uh, show others that we understand problems and we can share with them in a short way uh, and then explain them uh, how we understand and how we can react to things in the world around. It's very asymmetric, it's no, I, I'm a teacher in university, so the, the time when, when somebody comes and gives his, his truth to the 2,000, the 200 students in, in the classroom who know nothing, so it's, it's, this time is, doesn't exist anymore. And, uh, what is also important that is a personal contribution to this, this idea is that reversal education. So if you have, you young people have things to, to learn from, from elder people that, as I am, I think we other people have a lot of things to learn from you. So this is reversal education with some kind of intergenerational exchange. I will pass very quickly about my third book because it's in French, it wasn't translated into English. But the title is, is very important, The Seven Wisdoms Required for the Education of the Future. And it doesn't concern only education, it concerns knowledge in general. And we'll pass quickly about how to know he explained us that how to know it's 
a better question than what to know. The other part which is trying to to describe. So what is a relevant knowledge? Because we are uh, submerged by information. Some specialists says, say that they are capable to transform this information into knowledge. But not every knowledge is relevant. So what we try to we should try to do together as pirate movements to decide what is relevant in this knowledge and what is not. Uh, I think I can pass this slide very quickly because I know we are part of this. We have an earth identity and uh, a feeling, if not a knowledge, of human condition. Uh, Dealing with uncertainties is very important. Nothing happened as previsionist uh, said. There are a lot of people who are job, whose job is to, to foresee the future in technology, in economy and so on. And you can see all disasters around the world. Uh, they can never predict, as, as the weather forecast, it is good for food at four days and over a week, amongst them. It doesn't work. Hmm? So we should deal, we should learn to deal with uncertainties that we have, I think, so we pass. And now I am at the three last slides, so I come back, and because I, before I, I show you what I wanted to show you, I will put you the question which was written in my first talk, slide. So, what do you think pirate parties can do, <laughs> what other parties can not do? That's it's a very important characteristic, the capacity to to, to say to to transfer, to communicate without borders, communicate without borders. But there are cultural borders, very important cultural borders. And it's not specific to a party. It's very it's true what you say, but it's it's what is specific as a political party? Perhaps the fact that the, the differences between the leading and the main group in the organization is not that clearly and strictly defined like in other political parties. There is a much bigger sense of community which can be spread and shared with others in the society. So that's a very good remark. It's, it's a very different setting. Pirate parties are not uh, how to say that in English, I don't know, as a pyramid organization, so not hierarchy or... Hierarchy. 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 Yes, okay. That's important. What can we do together with what others cannot? We, we react quicker. Are you sure? <laughs> well, I, 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 I'd like to... We, 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 we could react. That's, that's di digital people react quicker because I connected, but there are digital people in the, the World Trade Organization, in the left parties, and the Nazis, so they are everywhere. Hmm. I think, uh, going back to, to the beginning, when you say a limitation for communication, we have free communication, easier or easier communication, and so doesn't need so much time to reach other types of, of, of distance and so on. Mm -hmm. For 
but um, you see, for example, have the one limit we're not usually thinking is that we have the limit of how many people can you listen to and talk to at the same time. This, how big can a group uh, be? What's the limit size for group that can communicate all together? So it's very interesting that your 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 answers are concerning people and not parties. So I insist. I, Yes, I, I, I know people, but I, I was wondering in myself before coming to this conference, maybe, what, what... Maybe we don't understand what the concept of party is. I don't really know. I've been uh, part of a party, mm -hmm. political party in, in Spain, which is not a mm -hmm. third party, very tiny as well. And I don't think uh, also digital people kind of think. And we don't really understand what the role of parties is. Yes, there, there is there is a lot of, of work to do if, if if we want to be a party. A party to, doesn't exist for for itself. The party exists for society. If the party do do not. Uh, innovate, create something new for something which is useful for the society. There is association, so, or there is a community of people with the same interests. There is, there is not a party. Huh? So I, I, will, I, will, uh, I will finish my, my sentence and then I give you. The, the first, my first idea was, as a party, we must be different. We are different. But as a party, we are not. We are not known first, and as you have seen in 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 morning, I, I, I refer to Guillaume's presentation. So it should be known outside. So nobody knows pirate party exists, and nobody knows what is this. What are these pirate parties difference? So the differences should be. Some principles, we, we share values, diagnosis, what somebody else is doing as so well. Maybe we can help each other better than other parties do. There are no other European, I do not talk about international because it's still beginning, but the European party is, is in, in order to be, to be constructed, there is no other European party, left or center or liberal and so on. So that could be, uh, it's better It's better to help each other than to competition. The other, uh, the other characteristic went from, from this fleeting friendships of young people, uh, of most young people, which is favorable to curiosity, creativity, and, and we, we can be quicker by, by this movement. And we are not like old people that I am, with, with a stable situation and finance and his house and his car and so on. Uh, we, we are not, we are used to imperfection. I, this idea is very important for me because I am some way a typical example of perfection. I am a professor of mathematics, of physics, and everything must be clear and all angles must be of 90 degrees and so on and so on. So, uh, if we want in politics to do things like that, you will never have enough time to, to achieve your, your results. Hmm. So, act together, think twice or more. Uh, we have to find how to get some how to say it, captivity customers like with apples and we have to have our public outside in the real world. How? By creating a pirate university, by, uh, by creating something like a pedagogy to, to teach. We are masters in the digital literacy so we can share that with the whole world uh, free of charge and not like others do uh, 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 in, in so some, some well, must to pay for that. Uh, 
we should find some specific objectives which differentiates an international movement as PPI and the European movement as PPU. You, huh? So the International Pirate Party found that uh, he, it can be a European party, but European party do not know yet uh, what should, should it be. I give you word if you want to say something. No, you can further. I think you have the intuition that we can do things better and faster. We could, we might do things better and faster. If, if the, we can put it in practice, we will win. We will, I, I was thinking that, that national parties are only a... Can you translate that for me? Un passage obligé. Yes, a forced pathway to the relevant level of, pol of private politics. So we are national parties, we participate to national elections in national regulation of what the party is and how it is functioning and so on. But uh, the most important new things we can do are in local level and in European level. National level, no, very little problems can be solved. So we must concentrate ourselves to local policy, where we can innovate, have alliances with, with uh, liberals, because they have very interesting new uh, companies, with syndicates, because they defend some common values and so on. So unnatural alliances are possible at local level, are impossible at national level. So, and, and European and PPI level are very important because a lot of questions today can be solved only at this level. National politics, your an intergovernmental Europe is no more functioning. So when, when the 50 bigger, biggest companies in the world can destroy half of the European national states, uh, that, so something is, is, is not working in politics. So. Uh, I don't know how to, to ensure some, some memory, so to learn of our own history, that we have some tactics and, and secret. How to define, we have to define some subsidiarity between our parties and, and the different levels, local and European. Uh, I will insist on, on language, on languages. I will insist on languages because I myself am speaking five and because I think that each language has uh, its own pattern to develop thinking about subjects. We are not... Uh, so I think it's very dangerous to use only English language. It is necessary, everybody is, is using language, but to really go to to understand and to create new concepts and to propose, we need to use our, our language, which, which we use normally, our mother language. And that's why I, I, I think that Pirate Party should translate their, a lot of their parts of their program or website, at least in their neighbor's language. Translate into English, okay, everybody, who, which is translatable, and each neighbor uh, pirate party translate in, into the language of, of their neighbors. So a propagation of, of ideas would be more quick than, than uh, across through this English language, which is imperfect to, to profound communication. So we can concentrate action and save our energy. Uh, this is not 
very important for for my proposition. Yes, what is important, but you 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 are aware that that restlessness, indignation, protection of interest, reaction, opposition are not enough to make politics. So this is not politics. No? And what can be, what should be a new value of private parties is reputation. If you if you uh, dare to analyze from a historic point of view uh, what was the values, what were the values in, in, in the 16th, 17th century, it was uh, the land and the title, I am the Duke of and I have the land. Then the last year revolution was uh, was money and and a diploma, so a, a grade, university grade. And nowadays, I I can't I can't do I can't give you the two examples. So, but I think one of value is reputation. So, the in the net economy, reputation is a is a big big value. Uh, that's that's why a lot of companies are are on the net and they are trying to separate uh, all data because they think this will give them power through reputation. And I think that it should be some kind of, of professional, of non-professional. Yes. First, my first intention was to do some kind of SWOT, you know, and, and strongest and weaknesses of. Uh, I don't think uh, there is enough data and and mutual knowledge of each other to do that. So I'm sure there are weaknesses, but I am not. Uh, I'm not sure I know them. I, I can define them very well. So I better concentrated myself on, on positives. What we should, it's not sure we will do that. So I, I was thinking, if we want to change society, we need power. We will never change society without power. We, might, we must enter inside the, the political uh, game, which is a, a power game. So, and if we get inside, we must do things quicker, faster, cleverer than others. So, is it possible? Some, some kind of. This was was the, my my intellectual mechanics to, yeah. to propose this question. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what the what the feeling in the, in the German private parties or in the other European private parties. But I know, for example, very well what it's in Madrid, or I participate mm -hmm. in most of other parties. And Catalonia, many of you told me, uh, you know, Catalonia has more. And they actually got a significant part of the vote in Catalonia. In the rest of Spain, um, in Madrid, it was totally ridiculous uh, amount of votes. And I went to meet with the organizer of the meetings of the party party. There are like seven people having a beer, which is a normal standing. But, but uh, their, their purpose after the 15th 
then was not gaining any any seat in, in Parliament. It's a hundred thousand votes. Okay, but at least you should want to help at least somebody get a seat, not maybe yeah. you, but push for I mean people went anyway, I don't I didn't find the issues at all. And uh, anyway, what I want to say also I have I have some ingredients, sorry. Um, but yeah, not taking power is is the main thing. Another find, a concept that I found lacking in my party, maybe, not, I didn't know that was uh, is that we don't, we end up in good dynamics and we don't, uh, we don't, we lose the concept to serve the others. We stop working to serve the others and we work for a group understanding to be inside or outside. Okay, so in one side, I would say digital culture is a little bit breaking that barrier, but in comparison to hacker culture, for example, <coughs> hacker culture don't, they lose the concept of identity. We as a party, we kind of uh, are forced to understand, to, to hold that identity. Because either you're registered or not, or either you vote or not, full stuff. There is a, yeah, yeah. a name, a separation of the name of these, a uh, program, a program that leader takes. So it's either you're obliged with this text, constitution of pirate party text kind of, or uh, yeah, something like that. So either you, what you when you relate to the other political people in your living space, you identify them as are they parts already or are they not parts already? You play with that. And they also play with that with you. And that's one party you do. Uh, and we still fall for that. <coughs> Of course, um, for us in Spain, Madrid is very, very difficult to come together between groups, political groups, with a similar vision of what's happening, with a similar uh, one for success in the end. But they have they kind of come to each other just because they started going to these two meetings instead of that other group. And they have, you know, so anyway, so it's making so long. And, uh, and I think. We lose the concept to serve others and to do a project that actually serves others. Hacker culture does achieve it. Does achieve to do a project that actually serves the others. They don't need to say, you are inside my development hardware group. You know what I mean? Uh, and um, so, what, what I would say to my political group, and also I would recommend to the pirate uh, party, if I may. <laughs> is uh, to lose a bit uh, the concept of being inside the group or of, of, of outside the group. Uh, for example, when you go to the European elections, you say, I want to get seats, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to get seats. But do I also want to change the other parties? Why not make a liquid feedback for uh, another part, uh, for the uh, right-wing party in Germany? Why not make uh, a liquid feedback for the CDSU? Because you want the voters of the CDSU to have a better, better opinion expressed. Mm -hmm. If you really do it well, you're, you're serving political expression of the people. You're serving direct democracy for settled people. So you can serve both fronts, but we are not doing it. Because we think in the system, in the conceptual framework or of... In the box or outside the box. In the group, in yeah. my group or outside my group. Yeah. Do you, you want it to... I, I, was, I was thinking in the direction, as, as a pirate party, as a whole, um, we, we have got like, all lots of single individuals in the party and they uh, learn um, individual things and teams. And we have uh, mainstream teams, uh, transparency, but as a party we don't learn. As a whole party, There's, to be a real, um, a good political party, there are lots of gaps to get filled. We need to learn as a whole party. Yes, you you are right because there are a lot of political parties. There are a lot of legislation to create parties. I don't, I cannot give you the the number exactly, but I think in Romania they need hundreds and hundreds and thousands of signatures to create a party. It's almost impossible to create a party and so on. Huh? I think it's twenty thousand. So it's it's very difficult. So there are very difficult legislation that we we 
Quiet movement seems to to use some kind of mimetism. So there is a party, pirate party there, we do a party ourselves. So the, the concept of a party, of a political party, spread all around. But the real concept, political party, is, doesn't exist. In, so we are all political, we are all pirate parties, but we are not political parties. We have to have so, a discussion to find the gaps. Mm -hmm. and, and really say, oh, you, you, you learn similar things, please learn this as well, or invest some time. I, I will finish. I tell yesterday, I answered someone with, with some kind of joke, if, we, if in Europe we have a problem, hmm? uh, nowadays uh, there will be uh, 28, 28 parties, pirate parties, who will treat, it, treat this problem. So what European pirate party can do, then give 28 answers, <laughs> possibilities to this on, only one problem. That's a big difference. So don't ask me how to do because we, we, we have no organization, we have no communication policy and so on. There is a lot of things to do. Please. Um, yeah. Sorry. Um, I wanted to, to, to add to what you said was um, that in Germany actually do that. We collect, you do uh, collaborate with other parties. On the local levels, um, if you sit in like a city council and you form a parliamentary group in the city council, um, you get more money and you get, uh, uh, so it makes sense for us to work together with parties that locally work with similar things. Um, the mayor of the CDU, actually from Kisan, the region north of Bremen, um, uh, installed a legal feedback instance for all citizens <coughs> in, in, in Kisan, where people can, via legal feedback, put in things that will be um, like discussed in the regional council. Um, and then also, for example, we had those um, crypto parties, for example, that were not meant just for members of the party or just for the party. Like for all, all, for all citizens to come and um, yeah, improve their skills and, and secure communication. So in that sense, that's happened. And uh, so far we have a good experience of it. And then also, for example, we are the only major political party that allows multiple memberships. Like the Greens say, if you're a member of the Green Party, you can't have a member. I know a lot of Spanish parents. I register Spanish party in Madrid, I'm, I'm in the list, but I don't talk that much there. Yeah. And then I'm also registered in my political party. So yeah. I, I, and I did, I did know these examples of uh, like being run by, uh, by uh, majors of cities. Only the local and not major cities. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but I, I, yeah, and, uh, I, I know a little bit about the software, the new feedback uh, software. Um, I followed it. But still, it's uh, because they are taking, let's say, the project, uh, the software, right? That was written by people of the Pirate Party that then made it to the association or whatever. But what I mean, it's not an initiative of the Pirate Party itself that it's being run there. Of course, the Pirate Party recommends and promotes it. But I mean, you do, it's not a, I mean, it's not a total criticism, but uh, I mean, I'm not saying uh, uh, I was amazed about, uh, <laughs> I would love to be a uh, German Pirate Party uh, work. I've, I've been already to quite a few more meetings of the German Pirate Party than of the Spanish Pirate Party. <laughs> so I guess I'm more German Pirate uh, But anyway, um, I can learn German uh, very well. And I don't want to agree on it. Anyway, sorry to. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I mean is that we also fall for these traps of identity. And what you said is we do work with other parties. I'm a party, you're a party. Of course, you're a higher party, so I understand you play that. But I would also like to release the energy of the people I work with in politics and in Spain, and forgetting also for half of the or a third, or let me do that with other people too, inside the party, to do projects that are not, that are inside the party, that maybe they don't need to be independent, but that are working in a larger picture, more thinking about the person as an identity, as a, every person, the objective is not to expand the private party or get more votes. It could also be, for example, a registry, a registry for political expressions of every citizen. 
and you record the logical expressions. I have to. <laughs> I have to. Well, um, yeah, when I came to the party, that was actually uh, told to me that um, on the one hand, uh, like we're not on first side a political party, but we're just a group of people that have the same political interests somehow. And well, by the way of being a political party, try to get them like first. Um, but it's not about like being in the parliament and rules the country. It's it's just about um, knowing that stuff is important and that this is not paid attention to. And like when I came to the pirate party, I was told, yeah, actually our aim is to not be needed as a political party anymore. And this is what I still work for. Okay, do you have any questions? So I think technicians are waiting to close. <laughs> but thank you for your attention. <laughs>